my channel. So I am currently deep in the preparations for Coachella next week. I'm heading off to the States and I've been getting quite excited about the different looks and hairstyles and everything that I can do for it. And obviously I'm loving my short hair at the moment, but I feel like Coachella has this kind of bohemian flower girl vibe. So I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to play around with my luxie hair extensions and get a bit of a long boho Coachella type look going. So I have just put in these extensions extensions and I am so excited about how well they work. I've actually mixed two sets so because my hair is um, not a solid color I've got like highlights all through it and it's darker at the top um, not one singular set would work for my color so if you have that kind of issue you can uh, deal with it in two ways either you can dye the extensions typically you can actually dye them because they're real hair or you can mix sets to create a kind of uh, sort of highlighted look throughout. So you've got different bits poking through. See how there are some pieces that are darker and some pieces that are lighter? So this is the mixture of the ombre blonde and the ombre chestnut. And I've just kind of stacked them on top of each other. I'll actually do a tutorial on exactly how to place those as well. But for today, let's focus on getting our little fun buns happening. Okay, so I'll start it off by just throwing some waves in here. They're pretty loose waves. I've used a uh, three centimeter barrel curling iron just to achieve these. And what I've done is I've put some of the curls to the back and some of them to the front so that they don't combine into that one big beautiful curl, but rather they're at odds with each other so it stays a little bit messy. Now, what I'm actually going to do is start with a bit of this uh, Double XL volume spray. I know I use this a lot, but it's just one of those things that adds a lot of texture and you can easily make a look look a lot messier with it. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit through the mid lengths here. Just a tiny bit. Because the extensions are quite soft because they're brand new. So I just want there to be a little bit of grit in them. And I'm gonna pop it right on the top of my head in the root. Rough that all up. Right, now I would like my fun buns to be in a half up, half down hairstyle. So I'll have all this still hanging out. And then I'm going to separate this top section here and pop that into a bun. And I'm going to back comb it. Now I found it easiest to actually put a little pigtail in there first and then create the bun around it. It just helps me to kind of even out the two sides. So I'm just gonna start off with that and pull out a lot of this volume at the top here already because I do want that to stay messy. I'm not using a brush for this hairstyle at all. Okay, other side. See how even after I've back combed it, I'm not even brushing it. I'm just kind of smoothing it out a tiny little bit with my hands, but keeping that messy volume at the top. Okay, so now I have these two little pigtails on each side of my hair, and whilst this is actually such a fun little hairstyle, I am going to turn them into little buns. So I'm gonna start over here, and with this piece here, I'm going to back comb at the roots and kind of bring that a little bit towards the end because I do want these to be quite thick and quite messy. Then without brushing through it, I'm gonna just curl that and then just wrap that around my little hair tie. And then I'm just gonna secure that with some bobby pins. Now, if you wanna make sure that that stays all day, after you've popped the bobby pins in there, it might be a good idea to also get a little thin hairband and wrap that around the base of it. Then I'm just going to start pulling this bun a little bit looser and pulling some little bits out of it to make it quite messy. Okay, now same thing on the other side. Then you just pull out a couple of things at the front there and give the buns a little bit of a spritz with, this is just a flexible hairspray. I don't want it to look too stiff, but I do want it to hold. Okay, so to finish off this look, I just want to do a couple of little fishtail braids or plaits just to make it a little more bohemian and flower girl vibe. I saw a couple of looks like this on Pinterest and I just thought they were so cute. So I think I might actually do something like this at Coachella. And now to secure that, I'm just going to grab one of these 
little brown, you can use a clear elastic or even like a little kind of bead or something if you have one of those. I think I might try and find some before I actually head off. So if you have been looking for some festival hair inspo, maybe give this little number a go. And uh, I might just see you there and we might actually be twinning, <laughs> which would be amazing. So if you do try it, please take a photo, tag me. I would love to see what you guys are doing. And if you would like to see any other tutorials, let me know. I'd be happy to share any things that I learn along the way. Also, if you need hair extensions, these Luxy hair extensions are honestly the best things ever. I mean, I have been using clip-in hair extensions for a long time, but I am so excited about how well these blend. Oh, I'm like over the moon that I can now have my short lob and also convincing long hair. So I'm probably gonna rock a whole bunch of different hairstyles over Coachella and I shall see you guys there. Keep an eye on my Instagram for all the photos because I will definitely be spamming you guys with it. <laughs> oh, and I do have a discount code for Luxie Hair, so the link is in the description below for you guys. See you next time.